the Smith & Wesson governor. Let's check it out. Smith & Wesson introduced the governor in 2011, and of course it was inspired by the Taurus Judge, which is a very popular firearm. Uh, one of the big differences between the governor and the judge is this is a scandium alloy frame, which makes it really light compared to the steel frame of the judge, and it's also a six round cylinder compared to the five round cylinder of the Taurus. So just an excellent Smith & Wesson quality. Price is considerably higher, but the quality is too. The governor! Smith & Wesson is world renowned as an excellent firearm manufacturer and they've been producing firearms for 159 years which gives them a lot of experience and a lot a big track record. I mean Smith & Wesson firearms are some of the best known firearms out there. When you say Smith & Wesson everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. One of the things about the revolver though is that you know it's really kind of fallen out of favor as a self-defense option mainly because semi-automatics have become so reliable now. Uh, earlier, these really kind of stayed in vogue even through the 80s and up into the 90s because they are just so reliable. Uh, and semi-automatics weren't so much during those years. But now, uh, revolvers have kind of fallen into another category. But these are still a very viable self-defense option. And the big reason is because when you pull the trigger, it's just going to fire. But this is the Smith & Wesson Governor. Uh, it's kind of a unique firearm, uh, but of course inspired by the Taurus Judge. Uh, the Taurus Judge has been extremely popular. You know, I've never really taken a shine to it, mainly because it just seemed like more of a novelty. I mean, it was fun. You had 410, you had 45 Colt, and you could interchange those, and it made it somewhat versatile. Uh, but for some reason, I've just never really warmed up to it. When the governor came out, I started looking at it and knowing that Smith & Wesson has... Uh, kind of delved into that market, I decided to go ahead and try one out. And I'm going to tell you what, guys, as skeptical as I have been, this is really a game changer for me. And I'll tell you a lot of the reasons why as we go through the review. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is make sure, of course, that the gun is unloaded. And, of course, you can see that it is. Um, the cylinder is huge. I mean, this is really long. Uh, the big reason for that is for the 410 shells. And one of the great things is a lot of the ammunition companies now have been producing 410 shells for specifically for self-defense and for these handguns. And of course, you can thank Taurus for kind of you know opening up the floodgates. But then when Smith and Wesson came out with it, it just seemed to be a little bit more of a viable option. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of guys out there that love the Judge. In fact, I've got a good buddy of mine. He would just always talk about the Judge, the Judge. You know, <laughs> and I was like, whatever, man. But I understand a little bit more about what he's talking about. But one of the great things about the Smith & Wesson Governor is it goes beyond what the judge is capable of. Uh, first off, it has a six round cylinder and that gives you one extra round. The judge has five rounds. Uh, but the big coup for me is that you can use 45 ACP in the Governor and it takes the moon clips. That, to me, is a huge game changer. 45 ACP is much more reasonable than your 45 Colt uh, and your 410. And it's more plentiful. And, of course, with this, this loading system, it makes it really easy. I mean, you open up your cylinder. You just drop your rounds 
right down in and it's like having just a little mini speed loader and that's what it really is makes it really easy to get these to get that reload really quick that to me is a huge advantage over your standard revolver uh, even with speed loaders it can be uh, you know you can get kind of mixed up while you're trying to fiddle with it and turn the knob uh, this you just slap it in and you go but the real thing that's really awesome is the 410 uh, putting 410 shells in this makes a huge difference in ballistics. So it gives you three separate calibers, and so it makes this a very versatile handgun. Now laid out here, I have just some different rounds, uh, the 45 Colt, and you can see it's a very large round and uh, compared to the 45 ACP. Uh, it gives really pretty much similar ballistics though, but you can work these up pretty hot. Of course, you can use, you know, your full metal jacket or you can use hollow points. Uh, so, you know, which, of course, that's a no-brainer. Uh, with the self-defense loads, though, these are the Hornady uh, critical defense loads. It has a, a slug and then has shot underneath it. A really effective self-defense round. And then, of course, you can use slugs or whatever. Now, it uses the 2.5-inch 410. And here is a 3-inch 410 shell. This is the Winchester PDX-1 410 Defender. Uh, but really, this does not go into the governor. So be careful when you are buying your ammunition. You want to make sure you stay within at least uh, no longer than 2.5 inch. And there's been a lot of controversy over using 410 as a self-defense load. But guys, people have been hunting deer for years with 410. And really, with the new loads that they're making, especially this Hornady Critical Defense, I mean, this is a devastating round. Now, one of the things great about the Governor, it's a large pistol. In fact, it's a Z-frame. <laughs> and that has a lot to do with the size of this cylinder. Uh, but with that being said, it is a very light pistol. Uh, these are a scandium alloy on the frame, which makes it uh, actually under 30 ounces. It's 29.6 ounces compared to the Judge, which is all steel. Now, one of the things I want to say about the judge is I've not had a whole lot of experience. I've shot the judge a few times. This is not a comparison between the Smith and Wesson uh, governor and the Taurus judge. This is just we just want to talk about some of the things and the similarities, especially if you have something you're kind of thinking one way or the other. It does have this really nice rubberized grip, which really helps, especially with the heavy 410 loads. Uh, you can get one of the Crimson Trace grips from Smith & Wesson as well, already attached. Uh, it is a double action, single action pistol, and that just means that when you pull the, the uh, trigger, it actuates the hammer. Uh, but then also you can pull the hammer back for more precise shots. Uh, the trigger pull itself in double action is really smooth, but it's pretty heavy. And of course that helps with uh, it being safe and you not inadvertently pulling that trigger. And that way there's no external safeties, which is typical for your revolver. Uh, but with the single action, it is a really smooth trigger pull. And that's what you expect typically with Smith & Wesson revolvers. Of course, to open up the cylinder, just take and push the latch and it brings the cylinder right out. And uh, just a really smooth action. Uh, and that's one of the things about Smith & Wesson, too, is the action. Everything is really smooth, really slick, and, you know, you can really count on it. Now, the sights have a notched-in uh, rear sight that's squared off, and then you go all the way out to a tritium uh, insert at the front. And this will help you, especially if you're using this in a low-light situation. Uh, but the sights are easy to see, and with that white dot, you're able to really uh, connect with that target quickly. The barrel is two and three quarter inches in length. Uh, the overall length of the pistol is eight and a half. The height is five and a half inches. And the width is 1.75 or one and three quarters inch in width. Uh, but it really belies its size because the weight is just so light. Uh, you know, I really wouldn't want anything lighter than this because of the loads. But this really could be a, a carry option. <laughs> uh, definitely for open carry but even for concealed carry. You know, some say that the Smith & Wesson governor cannot be concealed carry, but I disagree. Oh yeah. Now there are different holster options. Uh, one of the things that I went with is Jackson Leatherwork. I had him make one of these outside the waistband holsters and just a really high quality leather holster. This fits really close to the belt. 
uh, just a beautiful well-made holster and I haven't really put this holster through its test uh, I have taken it to the range and drawn from the hip a number of times uh, and I really like the way this thing rides uh, and then we have which was really kind of funny I think John just uh, sent this along just for kicks but uh, this is more of a pocket holster and what's really cool is right here embossed is the governor <laughs> so you know the governor is ready to go and uh, this actually does fit in your pocket uh, even you know even in a jean pocket I actually got it to fit except that the handle stuck out just a little bit now included with the governor are two six round moon clips and then you have two round moon clips and the reason for the two round moon clips is pretty cool in fact I really like this idea you can take the two moon clips drop them in two 45 Colts drop those in and then two 410 shells and this is called the mixed six <laughs> so you can decide where you want to start one of the things I really like about this little system is that if you're hunting and you're out in the field and you need something for snake shot uh, great to have the 410 you could even put bird shot in there just for snakes if you get into a more serious situation with a two-legged snake or you know predator or whatever you've got the extra rounds there to back that up now, not only do moon clips make it easier to load into your pistol, you're going to really have to have those if you're going to shoot 45 ECP. Here we have a regular 45. You can see that it's not rimmed, unlike the 45 Colt that has the rim right here. So your 45 Colt's going to rest right in the right place. Your 45 ACP is going to drop down in. So that's the purpose for the moon clips. One of the problems with this, the uh, Taurus Judge is that it's a five-round cylinder. So you're not going to be able to put those in there. Now, you probably could put the two-round moon clips and get away with some of that. Uh, but you can't use the six-round, obviously, because there's only five holes. Now, one of the things about moon clips is removing your 45 brass. It can really, because these are really steel and they're, they're very thin, uh, it can be a real chore to pull these off. One cool thing, and I got this on eBay, it's a, a shell removal tool for your moon clips. It's just a hollow tube with a little shelf on it and a handle. You slide it over and you just lift up. Slide it over and you can lift up. Now these will drop down in. In fact, it'll hold six 45 ACP rounds in the tube so you can just go through and just drop them in. And of course we had the one flyer but you can see we've got enough room. And then put them in your bag for reloading. Now also along with the moon clip tool, I got a bunch of just regular moon clips. These are small little metal, stamp metal pieces. And after a while they can bend and get out of shape. And so having a bunch of these is really neat. Uh, so And they're very cheap. I think this with the tool and everything was like $19. Now, of course, this does come in the blued version. This is a stainless steel cylinder, stainless steel barrel, but it does also come in the stainless color. Uh, of course, it is a scandium alloy frame that has a finish on it to match the, uh, the raw stainless steel uh, cylinder. And as far as price, the MSRP is $869. Uh, but I saw it in a number of places for just over the $750 mark. And for a pistol, Smith & Wesson revolver, and guys, if you've been pricing revolvers, uh, they are fairly expensive. So the debate will continue on whether this is a viable self-defense option. But really, with what I've experienced, this would make an excellent field gun, home defense gun, self-defense gun, car gun. Up close and personal, this thing is devastating. And I want to thank HPR for providing the 45 ACP and the 45 Colt for this review. Uh, just really high quality ammunition. Those guys are great. So the Smith & Wesson Governor, you know it. Thumbs way up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Smith and Wesson does Swith and Swith and Besson. Now this is a man's gun. Oh yeah.